Well, now that Chris Evans has turned to directing, let's take a look at his directorial debut. Alright guys, so before we go. Before we go is about when Alice Eve's character gets robbed in New York. As she's trying to catch the final train back to Boston for that night, she misses it. Then, we meet Chris Evans' character, who just wants to help her for the night. Then, as the night between the two continues, they develop a strong friendship slash romantic bond. Now, going into the, the film, I was very excited. The story seemed pretty interesting to me, and I wanted to see how Chris Evans can direct in a movie, along with have chemistry with Alice Eve. And how was it? Well, let's find out. And while this isn't the best romance film of the year, it certainly was enjoyable for me. Starting off, the acting is really solid by everyone. Alice Eve and Chris Evans have really good chemistry together, and you can see their relationship develop more and more and more when the film continues. Plus, the actors give solid performances individually. Chris Evans is, of course, likable and really good here, and Alice Eve surprised me of how good she was of an actress. It wasn't anything phenomenal, but nevertheless, it was pretty good. Also, for his directorial debut, Evans directs this film beautifully. There are a lot of beautiful shots of New York City night nightlife, and it really immersed me into the story, and it really made me feel like I was in, in New York City. As for writing in the film, one of the writers here wrote the screenplay for Rain Man, and while it's nowhere even close to the writing of that film, this is not nearly as generic as most romantic films nowadays. Now, the negative aspect of this movie. The movie feels very, very long, well, and I know I said that about a lot of movies recently, but what can I say, they are pretty slow, but in all seriousness, the film is 94 minutes long, and it feels like two and a half hours, and there are some really, like, weird scenes, like, like I said, the writing is pretty good for the most part, but there are moments in the film that don't really serve any purpose to progress the story whatsoever. For instance, there's a scene where Eve and Evans, they portray, or they pose as fake musicians, and it really doesn't progress the story at all, and I realize it's like, kind of, oh, see how much fun they're having, but at the same time, I'm kind of just like, I mean, really, we could have shown it in a way that progresses the story. So overall, Before We Go is a pretty good directorial debut for Chris Evans. I'm gonna give Before We Go a B. It's not the best romance, but it's still a very cute and charming movie. Alright, so that pretty much sums up my review for Before We Go, and now I want to hear from you guys. Whatever you want to say about the movie or anything else in relevance, please drop it in the comments below. I respond to every comment that I'm able to, so let's have a chat. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Until my next review, I'm Random Mr. 401 Links are in the description, and I will see you all later.